guys, thanks for checking out the video tonight. So remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to hit that bell to make sure you get updates when I put up new videos. And uh, today we're gonna be going over some body panel alignment. Uh, the Evo 6 here is pretty much finished. So I'd like to put up uh, a video that I did uh, a few weeks ago when I was aligning the front body panels. I think it might help uh, some of you guys with um, putting the car back together. If you do get to the point of taking off those uh, front fenders, the hood, the front bumper, things like that. Um, some tips on it going back together. And so uh, we'll do a body panel alignment video today. And this will be actually video number 49 that I'm uploading. Uh, video 50 will be this Thursday, so in two days. So uh, that's a good milestone for my channel. Um, after video 50, I'll probably be doing one or two more with the Evo 6. And uh, then after that, I'll be moving on maybe to some GTR content. Um, I also have a Celica GT4 that I need to uh, do some work on, so we'll see. Um, yeah, definitely some small paint and body videos, um, some other interesting stuff. So I'll keep doing uh, uploads throughout the summer. Uh, I am going to be hitting some car shows, so there'll be more uh, uh, interesting JDM content coming up. So in the meantime, let's uh, take a look at alignment of body panels for the Evo 6. Okay, so in the uh, Evo 6 project here, we're at the point where we have to start putting on some body parts. So have the uh, fenders here, headlights. Um, so the headlights do mount to the fender, so the fenders have to go on first. Uh, a particular spot on the fenders that are of interest to anybody doing this is this right here, this ear. Now, um, this attaches to the uh, back of the fender and uh, the thread pitch here is uh, M6 by 1.0. Um, what I would do is I would run a top through there just to clean up the threads to make it easier um, because for that fastener in particular, that's kind of the, uh, the difficult one to get to on the fender side. Um, the easiest way to get to it is by opening the door and kind of going through the crack in the door this way. And um, now for the fenders, this is also a fastening point that will deteriorate if you don't have wheel well plastics because a bunch of junk gets up there and uh, starts to rot this. So very important spot, very important fastener. So. What we're going to do next is uh, align the fenders with the hood and um, then we're going to put in the front headlights. So let's do that.
Okay, so I have uh, the driver's side headlight, driver's side fender on. Now, um, just to show you some alignment tricks here. Now, what I do is I align the fenders to the hood. Uh, the hood is aligned to the latch and uh, there's not a whole lot of adjustment in the hood. So normally it's pretty centered, I, I found on these Evos anyway. And so I'm basically, basically aligning from the center out. So what I noticed about these fenders is that to get a nice straight line, it needs to, the front, front of the fender needs to come out a few mil uh, that direction. So what I did, was I added a washer uh, right here, right here, and uh, on this fastening point here to bring the fender out a couple millimeters this way. Now, um, if I close the hood, okay, you can see what I'm talking about. There's a perfect gap now between the uh, hood and the fender. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, headlights fairly level. And then uh, we're going to have the uh, um, corner light right here, signal light. And uh, that should be aligned very well with the uh, gap there. Then uh, secondary to that is the door gap right here, which is very even. Um, don't be afraid to pull the fender out this direction using the fastener under here. That's, that's a way of uh, keeping this door gap straight. So the gap, I also got very good. So, so these cars, um, they are, they're not built with a whole lot of adjustment, so you may have to shim them um, with uh, washers like I did. That's something that you may have to do, especially if you want to get nice body gaps. Um, I like having uh, nice gaps on my cars, so I take some uh, extra time to align uh, based on that. So. Yeah, so that's where I'm at here. Uh, I'm gonna be going now to the passenger side and doing the same procedure for alignment. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video today. Make sure that you check me out on Instagram at Wrench Rampage. And uh, thank you for checking in tonight um, on Thursday. So in two days, just a reminder, it'll be my video number 50. And uh, after that, more JDM content. So stay, stay tuned for that. Thanks, have a good night.